from the initiation of COVID week, uh, we decided to have on Week Sunday a remembrance hour in the local cemetery, remembering all COVIDs. And then on occasions like the historic FAI Junior Cup win by Westbrook United, on that Week Sunday, we visited the graves of soccer players and soccer supporters in Upwall. So we've been in, in Upwall uh, honoring people there. Now, as I pointed out to, to a few times to people, everyone in a cemetery is special because everyone in the eyes of our creator is unique and special. But then there are people through achievements in business or sport or whatever, rise a bit higher in public uh, attention. And uh, you know, it's only natural then that we focus on some people like that. Uh, so next Sunday, for the first time, we're going to have a remembrance hour in Holy Trinity Cemetery, which is just down the Newport Road, uh, just a little bit below Holy Trinity Church. That's at two o'clock. And uh, immediately following that, uh, we're having a special short slideshow presentation in the lecture hall on a Miss Harriet Rose Ferris, who died in Rose Cottage, down directly across from Holy Trinity Cemetery, just uh, below Holy Trinity Church. It was the home of Mrs. Henderson. Uh, many Kobe's would remember that. And Mrs. Henderson's sister was this Miss Ferris, who on retirement uh, came to live there and died there and is buried across the road. Now, lots of people in Westport uh, would attach no significance to Miss H.R. Ferris. But Miss Harriet Rose Ferris was one of Ireland's and the world's greatest educators of deaf children. For 25 years, she was headmistress of the Claremont Institute in Dublin and uh, gained international acclaim for her innovative uh, new methods of teaching deaf children. She went to England to Exeter College for the Deaf and she went to the United States and uh, to get the very best systems to help deaf children. So for a quarter of a century, she was Ireland's leading educator of the deaf. And in her hometown of Westport, there's hardly anything known about her. But that's going to change on Sunday. Actually, a, a couple, Rachel and Henry Pollard, uh, were attached to that Claremont uh, institution. Uh, Rachel Pollard has written a book about the college, and uh, there's a significant chapter about Miss Ferris. Uh, 